This is Kasturi Day speaking on classification of animals. This is according to ICC syllabus class 7. Classification of animals. Although different animals have unique features, yet they show certain, certain common features. They are heterotropic in nature as we know that they cannot manufacture their own food by themselves and they feed either on plants or on other animals. They can locomote, that is they can move from one place to another mainly in search of food and shelter. Now the kingdom Animalia, it is divided into two uh, subgroups. Okay, this is uh, invertebrates and vertebrates according to absence of backbone and presence of backbone. Invertebrates, their, uh, their backbone is absent and in vertebrates, backbone is present. Now, invertebrates are divided into uh, phylum, different phylums. First is porifera, second is nidaria or cylinderata, then third is platyhelminthus, fourth is nematoda. Fifth is Anleda, sixth is Arthropoda, seventh is Mollusca, and eighth is Echinodermata. Okay, and this vertebrates is defined, uh, divided into classes, five classes that is Pisces, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, and Mammalia. Arthropoda is further divided into Crustacea. Myrapodia, myrap, myriapoda, insecta and arachnida. Now invertebrates. Animals do not have a backbone as we know. Then the first invertebrate uh, is, the first phylum of the invertebrate is porifera which means poor bearing animals. Here, mostly they are found in sea, very few occur in fresh water. They are fixed to some object or to the bottom of the pond or ocean. Body is generally porous, that is they bear many tiny pores to draw water into the body cavity and in one large pore to pass it out. For example, the sponge. Okay, now second... Second uh, phylum is Nidaria or Cylinterata. The Cylinterata means hollow sac like animals. Okay. Aquatic animals, they are aquatic animals, they sac like body with only one opening they have, that's the mouth. Mouth is surrounded by finger like projections called tentacles for catching food and for swimming. Body, it's radially symmetrical. Body can be divided, the body can be divided into two identical halves along any plane. For example, jellyfish, hydra, sea anemone. Third phylum is platyhelminthus or flatworms. These, their body is thin and flattened and mostly they live in, as parasites in the bodies of other animals, that is the hosts host body they live okay for example tapeworm and liver fluke the tapeworm which occurs generally found in human intestine they may gain a length of about six meters they look like a long ribbon with a small head like part at the front they absorb the already digested food from the human intestine okay now we come to nematoda, the fourth phylum, which means round worms. Body is rounded and unsegmented. They except for a few, most of them are minute organisms. Mostly live as parasites in the human bodies. Okay. Other animals also live, but uh, in humans they are also found as parasites. For example, ascaris. Now these ascaris, they live in small intestine of humans, commonly in children who eat with unwashed hands or eat unwashed fruits or vegetables. Okay, now the fifth uh, phylum is annelida, that means segmented worms. 
okay they their body is composed of rings or segments they have a soft moist body wall through which they breathe they have special organs for excretion nephridia which is called nephridia special organs for excretion of the anelidas are nephridia okay for example is earthworm leech etc now arthropoda arthropoda is mainly uh, uh, what do you say is the large number of uh, animals are found in arthropoda animals with jointed legs body is divided into three regions that is head thorax and abdomen in most cases body is covered by a tough covering of chitin then body has jointed legs and this phylum is further subdivided into four classes crustacea myriapoda insecta and arachnida now crustacea head and thor thorax that is the middle part of uh, of the body these two are fused have many jointed legs mainly live in water for example like crab shrimps lobsters prawn etc now myriapoda body is divided into many segments one or two pairs of legs are on each segment example centipede multipede etc now insecta body is divided into three regions head thorax and abdomen have three pairs of jointed legs head bears a pair of antenna or feelers and mouth parts examples ant house fly butterfly etc now come we come to the fourth class that is arachnida here again head and thorax are fused like in crustacea the head and thorax are fused they have four pairs of jointed legs they have no antenna for example spider ticks scorpion etc now we come to the seventh phylum of the invertebrates mollusca they are soft bodied shelled animals they are soft bodied which are not segmented their body is enclosed in a hard shell move with the help of a muscular foot for example snail slug pearl oyster octopus etc now we come to the eighth phylum of the invertebrates that is echinodermata they are spiny skinned animals their body is rough and spiny they are mainly marine that is they live mainly in live in sea water move with the help of a tube of feet radially symmetrical bodies example starfish sea urchin etc now we come to vertebrates or phylum caudata okay now animals with a backbone which has a vertebral column okay they are can they come under vertebrates they are classified into five five groups that is classes the first class is fishes or fishes aquatic animals they are aquatic animals with a streamlined body that is narrow at both the ends and swim they can swim with the help of fins their body covered with scales they breathe through gills for example all fishes that is rohu katla marshi electric ray fish dog fish etc come under this class now classif class amphibia these are generally frogs and toads they can live both in water and on land okay they lay their eggs in water their body is covered by a slimy and slippery skin they breathe through lungs and through skin okay for example frog and toad now the class reptilia they uh, they are generally lizards snakes they come under this class mostly they live on the land some live in water too skin is dry and scaly they breathe through the lungs the females lay soft shelled eggs on land they have four short legs for uh, crawling on the land for example lizards snakes etc live on the land turtles tortoises crocodiles etc they live in the water now the last class that is the aves 
uh, uh, sorry, it's the fourth class, not since the last class. It's the fourth class. It's the aves or birds. This body, their body is covered with feathers. They have wings to fly. Their bones are hollow and they are light in weight so that they can fly. Lift their body in the air. And the legs, bear scales and toes, they have claws. Their jaws provided with horny beak but they have no teeth. The females lay hard shelled eggs. For example, peacock, parrot, pigeon, bulbul, sparrow, they can fly. And some birds like the large, largest bird, ostrich, penguin, kiwi, they do not, they cannot fly. The last class is mammalia or the milk nourishing animals. They, their body is covered with hair. They possess projecting in uh, external ears. They give birth to young ones, that is the babies. And their young ones suckle milk from their mammary glands present in the mothers. That's why they are mammalia. They are called mammalia. Usually they have a tail except in humans and four limbs. Examples, cow, dog, deer, camels, lion, tiger, elephant, rat and even humans. Okay. Now we come to the classification of the invertebrates and vertebrates. Uh, invertebrates and vertebrates at a glance. Okay. Now animals with pores for water intake is polyferens. For example, sponges, hollow sac-like animals, nidarians or cylindrata comes, uh, for uh, the example is hydra, flatworms, platyhelminthas, the example is tapeworm, liver fluke, then roundworms, they are cylindrical worms, nematodes, they are, the example is ascaris, segmented worms, annelids, the example is earthworm, leech, Soft-bodied shelled animals, mollusca, they are snail uh, and slug. Then animals with jointed legs is arthropods, ant, bees, prawn, butterfly, scorpions, multipede, centipede. Then spiny skinned animals, echinoderms, the, the starfish. Then comes the classes piss, fishes, that is pieces. Okay, body covered with scales, fins for swimming, rohu, katla, mahashir, amphibians uh, can live in water as well as on land but must go to water for laying eggs. The lizard, snake, reptiles, mostly land vertebrates with dry and scaly skin. Uh, and uh, they are uh, scaly skin, lizard, snake and then comes the birds. They are covered with feathers and have wings for flying. There is pigeon, parrot, peacock, crow, mammals, body covered with hairs and their young ones suckle milk from their mother like cow, rat, cat, elephant, camels and man. This is a gist of, uh, it's a summary of the uh, uh, classification of invertebrates and vertebrates okay this is the end of the chapter of cl uh, classification of animals will come in the next chapter with photosynthesis in my next video thank you and if you have any doubts please do respond at kasturi74 at the rate gmail.com and please do, please do subscribe my video if you like it thank you